Mr. Brown has moderate dementia and continues to live in his apartment. His only daughter lives nearby and works full time. He's able to afford a private caregiver who stays with him when his daughter isn't able to help. He hasn't done well in adult day programs due to his sexually inappropriate behavior. I'm his fourth caregiver as the others have quit when they can no longer manage his behavior. It's a real problem. All right, honey, it's time for bed. Let me help you up so we can get into your pajamas. You want me to get undressed so we can get into bed together? <laughs> don't be silly, sweetie. Let's just take your shirt off. Why don't you take your shirt off? Mr. Brown, I'm just trying to do my job. You know you want to. I'm going to call Susan. Come on, come on, come on. Just put your hand no, here. Come I, on. I can't handle this. Come, I come quit. On. What do you do if the person you're caring for is sexually inappropriate? Sexual desire does not go away because someone has dementia. In fact, it could become more prevalent in someone who is lonely or bored. People with dementia often become disinhibited and lose sight of what is proper or improper. They sometimes say or do things that they normally would not say or do when they were well. So if someone is feeling sexually aroused, they may act on it and not be able to censor their behaviors. Sexual desire may arise on its own or be triggered by just being physically close to someone, providing help with personal hygiene, those kinds of activities, or by what someone inadvertently says. Situations like bathing, changing diapers, dressing, or bending over someone could trigger sexually inappropriate behaviors. If a patient acts inappropriately towards you, Use distraction to change the subject. If that doesn't work, let that person know in a calm but firm voice that you're feeling uncomfortable and that the behavior is inappropriate. Keep a boundary between you and the person through more formal dress, watching how you speak to the person, and by being aware of your body positioning. Mr. Brown, it's time for bed. I need you to put on your pajamas. You want me to get undressed so we can get into bed together? Mr. Brown, let's just get you changed. Why don't you take off your shirt? Mr. Brown, did you have a nice visit with your family earlier? I see they brought some new pictures of your grandkids. You know you want to, come on. It's a little chilly tonight. I brought your warm pajamas. Let's get them on you so you don't catch a cold. Come on, just put your hand over here. Let go of my hand, sir. Come on. Let go. Thank you. Let's go brush your teeth and then we'll come back and get you dressed for bed. Okay. What do you do if the person you're caring for is sexually inappropriate? Without becoming upset, try redirecting the behavior by changing the subject or through distraction. Address someone by their name either their first name or Mr. or Miss, but avoid more intimate names like Honey or Sweetie. If the sexually inappropriate behavior continues, firmly tell the person to stop what they are doing and that it is upsetting to you. If the inappropriate behavior includes masturbating, redirect them to their room to have some private time. Don't shame the person. Remain at a safe distance if you feel unsafe. If the behavior is directed towards a female caregiver, it may be necessary to hire a male caregiver instead, and vice versa. Preventative steps include wearing less revealing or tight clothes. Instead, wear something formal, like scrubs, to signal you're a professional. Be aware that just being physically close can trigger those behaviors, and adjust your body position as needed. 